Welcome to a new episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. After that, we go straight to the point the subject is bravely made clear and often illustrated. Here's the continuation of acid base balance. Today's topic is about metabolic alkalosis. A remainder of pH, normal pH is between 7.45 and 7.35. Above 7.45, it's alkalotic. And below 7.35, is acidotic. Metabolic versus respiratory. Metabolic is by the kidney, it's a, a process, it's a, a slow process. The respiratory is a, it's a fast process of eliminating. pH and CO2 are the opposite. pH and HCO3 are the same. Opposite mean respiratory. The same mean metabolic. Here are the numbers to remember. pH between 7.35 and 7.45. PCO2 is the same. 35.45. HCO3 22 to 26. High pH alkalosis. High HCO3 metabolic. Both are in the same way they are. It's alkalo, al metabolic alkalosis. To make the diagnosis of metabolic alkalosis, you have to check urine chloride. If urine chloride over 20 plus hypertension, it's about con hyperaldosterone. If chloride, if chloride over 20, but normal tension, it could be barter or gentleman. If chloride under 20, it could be vomiting, nasogastric succion, antiacid, or diuretic. I repeat, check urine chloride. If chloride over 20 and hypertension, it could be can, Cocon syndrome or a first uh, or a primary hip hyperaldosteronism. If chloride over 20 and normal tension, it could be barter or gentleman. Check for urine chloride. If chloride less than 20, vomiting, antiacid, diuretic. To understand the metabolism of aldosterone, you have to start from the liver and from kidney. From the liver, it's angiotensinogen. Angiotensinogen gives angiotensin 1 by the action of renin coming from the kidney. Angiotensin, angiotensin 1 gives angiotensin 2 by ECA coming from the lung. Angiotensin go to the nephron and there is a, a, a absorption of high uh, concentration of sodium. I repeat, angiotensin, to give angiotensin 1, it, it needs renin coming from the kidney. Angiotensin 1 to give angiotensin 2, it gives ACE coming from the lung, and angiotensin acts on the nephron with increase of sodium. Angiotensinogen gives angiotensin 1 and angiotensin 2 to act in adrenal. When it acts in adrenal, it gives aldosterone. Aldosterone makes 
vasoconstriction and lead to hypertension. I repeat, angiotensin, angiotensinogen, give angiotensin 1 by the actin of renin coming from the kidney. Angiotensin 1 give angiotensin 2 by actin of ACE coming from the lung. And angiotensin 2 act an adrenal to make vasoconstriction of the vessel that lead to hypertension. Cold syndrome, primary hyperaldosterone, increase of aldosterone com com coming from the adrenal, hypertension, excessive urination. To know about the cause of metabolic alkalosis, you have to check urine chloride and if urine chloride over 20 and hypertension, it's aldosterone, hyperaldosterone or Kohn syndrome. What is Kohn syndrome? It's a primary aldosterinoid with excess production of aldosterone resulting in low renin. Cause adenoma by hyperplasia of adre adrenal, rarely by familial hyperaldosteronism. Symptom. Fatigue, headache, poor vision, low potassium. Dizzy, irritability, confusion. Tachycardia by low potassium. And tremor and muscle crampy by low calcium. Muscular spasm, trembling, tension, and high blood pressure. Excessive urination. Tachycardia. Complica complications, stroke, myocardial infraction, abdominal heart rhythm, and kidney failure. I repeat this about Kohn syndrome, dizzy, irritable, confusion, tachycardia, and low potassium, tremor, muscle crampy, and low calcium, Excessive urination, complications, stroke, myocardial infarction, and kidney failure. If chlorure over 20 and normal tension, think about barter or gentleman. Barter versus gentleman. Both metabolic alkalosis, hypokalemia, renal cell wasting. But the difference, barter is high calcium in the urine and gentleman is low calcium in the urine. Barter syndrome is about the ascending side of Henle loop. Gentleman syndrome is about distal uh, tube. Barter syndrome, there is uh, Barter syndrome, the leakage of sodium, potassium, and chlor is blocked. Gentleman syndrome, it's like diazidic diuretic, it's blocked. Among the differential of, of Barter and Gentleman are Gordon and arthro, uh, Arthrogryposis. Gordon syndrome is a specific subtype of type 2 pseudo hypoaldosteronism from arthrogryposis. What is arthrogryposis? Normal mind, shoulder turned in, spine curved, knee stiff position, club foot, webbing knee, hip bent up, wrist bent up, a large jaw. I repeat about arthrogryposis, shoulder turned in, spine curved, knee stiff position, club foot, webby knee, hip bent up, wrist bent up, large jaw, but normal mind. Among other differential are little syndrome. It's a very rare genetic disorder. It's, uh, domin uh, it's autosomal dominant, high blood pressure, 
metabolic alkalosis and uh, low or normal aldosterone, excess sodium reabsorption, loss of potassium, treatment, low sodium diet, and potassium sparing diuretic. Renal tubular defect, Barter, Little, Brittleman, by metabolic alkalosis, and Fonconi, by metabolic acidosis. Metabolic alkalosis, check urine chloride. If chloride over 20 and hypertension, Think about consendron. If chloride over 20 and no mutation, think about Barter or Dittleman. If chloride less than 20, vomiting, antiacid, and diuretic. Thank you for watching this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Would you like to click the button like and subscribe? Your comments are very welcome. Thank you.